Welcome back to God Mass. This is where mathematical literacy begins. I hope you enjoyed our previous lesson. In today's lesson, we discuss the general rule of differentiation and how to differentiate functions. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more interesting lessons. In our previous lesson, we discussed the first principle of differentiation. If we have two different functions, y is equal to x raised to the power 2, and then f of x is equal to 3x raised to the power 4. These are functions in different notations, and the derivative of the function y can be written as y prime or dy dx. The derivative of the function f of x can be written as f prime of x or df of x dx. So the derivative has different notations, which all mean the same thing. Now, if we have a general function, y is equal to x raised to the power m, then the derivative of this function, which is called y prime, and also the same as dy dx is equal to n times x raised to the power n minus 1 which simply means that we multiply the function by the power and then subtract 1 from the power therefore if we have a function y is equal to 2x squared then the derivative of this function which is dy dx is equal to, we multiply the function by the power to become 2 times 2x raised to the power 2 minus 1. We multiply the whole function by the power and then subtract 1. This will give us 4x raised to the power 1, which is not written. So with this function y, we will have dy dx for this function to be equal to 2 x raised to the power 2 minus 1, which will give us 2x. And then for the function f of x, we will have df of x dx, which can also be written as f prime of x to be equal to, we multiply the whole function by the power 4, and then we subtract 1 from the power. And this will give us 12 x raised to the power 4 minus 1 is 3. Note that the differential of a constant is always 0. For example, if we have the function y is equal to 6, then the derivative of this function, which is dy dx, is equal to 0. Why do we have this? It is because the number 6 is the same as 6x raised to the power 0, where x raised to the power 0 will give us 1. So if we multiply the whole function by the power 0, then it all goes down to 0. So the derivative of a constant is always 0. We will take further examples on this. Find the derivative of each of the following functions. We have the first function, y is equal to 2x raised to the power 5. Therefore, the derivative of this function dy dx using the general principle of differentiation is 5 times 2x raised to the power 5 minus 1. And this will give us 5 times 2 gives us 10x raised to the power 4. Then the second one, we have f of x is equal to 4x. And so, f prime of x, which is the derivative of the function of f of x, is 1 times, note that this is raised to the power 1. 4x raised to the power 1 minus 1. This will give us 4x raised to the power 0, which is equal to 4, because x raised to the power 0 is 1. Now, for the third function, we have y is equal to 3x raised to the power 3 minus 2x. Note that this is a combination of two different functions. 
we have 3x raised to the power 3 which is one function and then negative 2x is another function and so we perform the differentiation on them separately and so y prime which is the differential of the function y is 3 times 3x raised to the power 3 minus 1 minus this is raised to the power 1 so 1 times 2 x raised to the power 1 minus 1 and that will be equal to 3 times 3 is 9 x raised to the power 2 minus 1 times 2 x raised to the power 0 and that gives us 9 x squared minus 2 since x raised to the power 0 is 1 and now for the last one we have dg of x dx we have other notations you can write that as g prime of x and that is equal to when we differentiate this function we have 2 times 16 x raised to the power 2 minus 1 plus we know that when we differentiate a constant we will have 0 so plus 0 and that is equal to 32 x 2 minus 1 is 1 and we don't write that you will take another example given the function y is equal to 2 root x find the y dx which is the first derivative of the function y is equal to 2 root x so we have the function y is equal to 2 square root of x which is 2 x raised to the power half we have discussed this in our lesson on indices and the y dx is equal to we multiply the whole function by the power and then subtract 1 this will give us 2 cancels 2 and we have x raised to the power half minus 1 is negative half and that is equal to 1 over x raised to the power half which is equal to 1 over square root of x we have discussed this test in our lesson on indices and you can always refer to that remember that all the derivatives we have obtained in our examples are the first derivatives and we can obtain the second the third and other higher derivatives of functions so if we have the function y is equal to 2x raised to the power 3 then the first derivative of this function which is y prime is equal to 3 times 2 x raised to the power 3 minus 1 which gives us 6 x raised to the power 2 the second derivative of this function is called y prime prime or we have the squared y over the x squared and that is equal to 2 times 6 raised to the power x 2 minus 1 and that gives us 12 x raised to the power 1 we can also differentiate this function to get y prime 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 and so on so there are other higher derivatives of functions let's take more examples on this let's go through the following questions the first question we are finding the first derivative of the function y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus 6 so dy dx, which is the first derivative, will give us when we multiply by the power, we have 3x raised to the power 3 minus 1 is 2. Minus 2 multiplies this to give us 4x raised to the power 2 minus 1 is 1. Plus the derivative of a constant is 0. So this gives us 3x squared minus 4x plus 0. For the second one, we have the function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x raised to the power 3. We want to find the second derivative of this function. But before we find the second derivative, we must find the first derivative. So the first derivative is 2 multiplies this to give us 4x 2 minus 1 minus 3 multiplies this. We have 3x, 3 minus 1. This will give us 4x minus 3x squared. That is the first derivative. And the second derivative, f prime prime of x, 
is equal to when we differentiate this function, which will give us 4x raised to the power 1 minus 1 minus 2 multiplies the whole function 3x raised to the power 2 minus 1. This gives us 4x to the power 0 minus 6x to the power 1. So we have 4 minus 6x. Then for the third question, we want to find the value of x such that the second derivative of this function is equal to 8. So we first need to find the second derivative of this function and equate to 8. So for the function g of x is equal to x squared minus 2x cubed. The first derivative g prime of x will be equal to 2 multiply this and we have 2 x 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 3 multiply this we have 6 x 3 minus 1 which gives us 2 then the second derivative g prime prime of x is equal to when we differentiate this function 1 multiply this to give us 2x to the power 1 minus 1 minus 2 multiplies and we have 12x to the power 2 minus 1 we will have 2x to the power 0 minus 12x to the power 1, which is 2 minus 12x. But the second derivative is equal to 8, which means that 2 minus 12x is equal to 8. So negative 12x is equal to 8 minus 2. That will give us 6. Then we divide through by negative 12 and then x is equal to negative 1 over 2. We will take three questions as assignment for this lesson. Solve these questions on your own and submit your answers to us via WhatsApp on the numbers given in the description. See you in our next lesson and thanks for watching this video.